So, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review. And today's the witch is on uh, Fantoka Toa Kopaka and Makuta Vampra from 2008. So, let's start things off with the only instruction entry for, for Toa Kopaka here. So, as you can see, him standing up in a striking position and a bit of some hexagons going on for whatever reason. See Bong logo, Fantoka logo, T with wings on it. And then Kopaka, set number 8685, Choking Hazard, and Bonkle.com. And on the back, and well, on the back, on most of the manuals, uh, for Toa Ignaika shooting off his Sky Blaster. And add for Lickle Club, add for Win on the Online Survey, add for the Toa Mari from the previous year, and add for all the uh, Fontoka with Liwa and Tanpa in the center, but in the Makuta's ones, it was uh, Chirox and Kirop in the center, of course. It had to attach Select to Kopaka, which I'll do in this, at the end of the video, and all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And also, at the start of the manual, is organize the pieces, which I think is the first time they introduced this in the manuals, of course. And also how to shoot the Medak Sky Blaster, but different for the Makudas, of course. So, first of all, let's start with Kopaka. See, oh, which is still kind of cool from the previous times, that is. So, like, as for the legs, of which which are mainly uh, the finned Anika feet, but in white. Well, this type in white first time, and paraka limbs, which are paraka limbs, but in gray. So a little trend with all the Fatoka Toas is have a lot of gray to them. Not sure why, but whatever. And the like armor is Anika knee piece or. Yeah, leg armor, but for both arms and legs. Although it would have been better if they were both, or if the shoulders were white and Nika armor. And then the, but as for the upper body, which is the same chest plate as Nika Holly, of course, and the torso, which is the same as uh, Mari Matoro's, of course. And then uh, as for the headpiece, same as the since the, the Toa Metru heads, of course, and of course, still using that kind of the brainstock piece that Kongumari has, probably to save a little bit of money molding it or, or whatever. And the mask, of which kind of the same as similar to Onua, or sorry, not Onua, Nuju Metru's mask, but in, has a little thing where you can clip a lightsaber rod in two. And although also it has flip flopped from the Mata and Yuva versions of Kopaka, not sure why, but whatever. And can slip on like so. Although it would have been cooler if the eye was still blue, like the previous versions. And as for the weapons, I so the only weapon is a like Medak Sky Blaster, but with a bayonet kind of piece to it. Well, a bayonet blade with a lightsaber rod on it. And as the Medak Sky Blaster itself is, which more oftentimes just heavy and kind of intrusive for a character, and has about four pins of connection. And of course, the back part is where light can come in and produce light for the light sphere spheres. And it's the three pronged lever, which you can pull, and it shoots off, of course. And well, with these, you can shoot only four off at a time. And I think it's about as good as the Xamar Sphere launcher. But the downfall is a lot quite heavy, at least until they fix that with the Thornax launchers the following year, of course. And from the back, which one of the only time sets 
have weren't really left open on the back is has a, a Nika shoulder piece with a little connector or technic connector to it, but there's a purpose for that. And of course have the wings or his wings, which gives him a flying ability, which helps him fly, of course. Because at this year they were all just about flying around. And so now how you attach Zoltak to him. Now from last last throwback Thursday, Zoltak and how you attach him to it is for the two holes in Zolak's chest you attach onto the two pins on there. Attach them there. And then there you go. And then you can fly around together. And of course give him extra power. I think that is about it with Kapaka. And now on to Makuta Vampra. So I think he, which is probably one of the only characters of Bonkle that ever resembled an animal like really closely. So he, which kind of truly resembles a bat. But because for the mascot, which does look very bat like, with like mouth with teeth and ears and all. Although some people also use this as the mask of Surge 3.0 in Hero Factory, of course. Although it can work with like uh, fox and wolf characters if you like. And that's the arms of which, which have the new bat wing pieces, which were new to the Fantoko line. Or just used for the Makuna sets of this line. But of course, he which had two sets of exclusive colors, like in both blue and darkish gray, when everyone else had black mixed with silver kind of coloring. And the, the world arms were just comprised of Anike or Paraka arms and also the silver golly hooks to them. Whereas the Makuna sets. So the Makuna sets do have a lot of black to them. Like how the Tola sets had a lot of great to them. But they did kind of change that up with the Mystica range, but more on that when we get to those. And the uh, torso piece, which first time something new since, since like 2005 Tohordika, and it's kind of similar to that. And whereas have this rib cage piece in it that holds the Triax pod in it. And how it works like is, see this little thing on the back where, oops, press that and then drops it. Oh, let me explode it myself. Of course, like that. Oh no, sorry about that. So. If I grab all the shadow leeches, which only four for the triax pod. Oops. Is if the camera picks this up. So he has two little eyes above and also smallish teeth to it, so like Four large fins and two, four small fins kind of equaled out. And to get reload them in the triax pod is like quite simple. Gather like that and get the other half fin and just reload it back in. So, well, whereas Vampra's armor piece always stays exclusive to him, which is Takadox's armor piece, but in silver. Unlike with uh, Chirox and Mutran and a couple others, they did have Toa Metru uh, chest armor piece acting that way. And the legs, which were the newly done reinforced uh, Toa Metru armor legs, or connectors and 
which of course often broke real easily over time, but has the legs of which mainly comprise of Hordika legs and are connected to the Torin daggers, the Torin electro daggers, but in dark blue. So at least there's something nice for mock making, of course. So although in one review, someone used Paraka arm pieces for that and gave him actual feet and all. Although I'm sure some of you can kind of figure out how to make him stand up right as well. Or just leave him like that. And of how the Makuda and how to attach Gothla to him. Is, and as this method, I really don't know why they did. See, the connections on her body connect to that. And attach the light. So. And of course, serving as his eyes went in flight and all. And so my question about this, which uh, if compared to how the Matoran attached to the Tolanuva is, I see they do it flat and all, but the, on the Makudas they just do it upwards. Probably just to be extra vision to them, of course. But at least until with Makuta Goras did kind of change that up a little. And And so now, on to the final verdict on these two sets. Oops. Overall, these I think uh, pretty good, pretty cool sets from 2008. Like got a set that closely resembled a bat, and also uh, with first time of Kopaka around on shelves after like seven years in 2008. Even though he may not have resembled Kopaka so much, but at least he did provide plenty of mockable pieces, and also a kind of alright return. Although you can kind of use the bayonet uh, piece as a sword if you wanted to. So at least the Fatopa set introduced the power of flight to them. Kind of like how you're prior all on the water, of course. And so if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And if you still have access to these sets, then I'd say... Truly go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. That's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.